Welcome boys and girls to yet another Sunday school. I'm here with Auntie Rhoda. Hi Auntie Rhoda. Hi. And hi boys and girls. Oh, it's so good boys and girls to be with you this week once again. Even though you are watching from home, you may not come to church. We want to worship God and to praise Him boys and girls. We can enter His courts with thanksgiving. All right, so we're going to sing, and we'll sing it two times. If you don't know it the first time, you'll get it the second time. Okay, so let us sing together. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Hallelujah. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his doors with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Hallelujah. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Indeed, the Lord has made me glad. And we shall learn something today. So listen boys and girls and pay attention. Good morning boys and girls. Welcome back to another Sunday school class. I'm Auntie Ruth. In the past Sundays, we've been learning about things that the Messiah came to do. And we know that one of the things that he came to do was to come and heal the sick. In all the works that the Lord Jesus Christ did that we learned about, we learned that Jesus has the power to heal any disease, any person, anywhere and every time and using any means. We learned that Jesus cleansed a leper who was amongst a big multitude of people who had come down from the mountain where Jesus was teaching. He touched the leper and the leper was cleansed. We also learned that how he healed many people who were sick and cast out demons from those who were demon possessed. This was in the evening and he healed with a word. We further learned how Jesus healed a cripple who was sick for 38 years and lay at a pool amongst other people who, were, who had different conditions. He told him to rise, take up your mat, take up your bed and walk. And immediately he was made well. It was on a Sabbath. We also heard how he healed two blind men who sat by the roadside. Jesus touched their eyes 
and immediately their eyes received sight. So far, we have seen that Jesus has power to heal any disease. We have covered the leper, the crippled, the blind, and the demon-possessed. We have also seen that he heals anywhere, down the mountain, along the roadside, or at the pool. We have also seen that he heals any time, in the evening, on the Sabbath, and using any means by touching, by using the word. Today, we continue to learn what the Messiah did in Luke 14, verse 35, and Mark 7, verse 31 to 37. We are going to look at the Mark passage. Let's read from the Bible, from Mark 7, verse 31 to 37. The Bible says, Again, departing from the region of Tyre and Sidon, he came through the midst of the region of Decapolis to the Sea of Galilee. Then they brought to him one who was deaf and had an impediment in his speech. And they begged him to put his hand on him. And he took him aside from the multitude and put his fingers in his eyes, ears, and spat and touched his tongue. Then, looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Epaphata, that is, be opened. Immediately his eyes were opened and the impediment of his tongue was lost and he spoke plainly. Then he commanded them that they should not tell no one. But the more he commanded them, the more widely they proclaimed it. And they were astonished beyond measure, saying, He has done all things well. He makes both the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. Boys and girls, from the Bible, we are told that Jesus healed a deaf man and a man, the same man could not even speak properly. Hmm? The area was around Sea of Galilee, where they brought this sick man to him Jesus put his hand in the eyes of the deaf man and he was healed. He also spat and touched the tongue of the sick man and the sick man was able to speak plainly. Jesus looked up to heaven he sighed and said to the sick man, Be opened. Immediately his eyes were opened and his tongue was lost. We learn that Jesus has the power to heal. He has the power to heal the deaf and the dumb. 
He has the power to heal anywhere, in any region or any town. He has the power to heal any disease. He has the power to heal the deafness of our ears. In this case, the Lord Jesus just touched the ears and the deaf man started hearing. The Bible says, he who has ears, let him hear. Jesus wants the people not only to hear his word, but to listen and then apply the word to our lives. Sometimes we find it very difficult to listen, especially if what he says requires us to change something about our lives. Boys and girls, sometimes we don't listen. We can hear what we are being told, but we don't listen. But God wants us to listen to what he says. God has given us ears so that we can listen to his word when it's being preached, when it's being read. God wants us to use our ears properly, not to listen to bad things, but to listen to good things that can build our lives or that can change our lives. God has the power to make us truly listen. He has the strength to make us change. If we ask him to help us, that he should give us ears that really listen, he is able. Jesus does not want us just to listen, just to hear sounds. No, he wants us to listen. Thank God that we can hear. Thank God that you are able to heal our deafness. Anywhere, at any time, only if we can go to him. Just like the deaf man was brought to Jesus. The people who took the deaf man to Jesus believed that Jesus was able to heal. If only Jesus could touch the deaf man, he was going to be healed. Even for us, if we go to Jesus believing that he can heal us, he is able to heal us. He has the power to heal us from being deaf so that we can use our ears to listen to the things of God when they are being taught, when they are being read, not just to listen to listen to other words which do not build us. So boys and girls, our God, our Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ has the power to heal our ears so that we can listen to him. Our memory verse today, the Bible says, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. He 
who has ears to hear, let him hear. Boys and girls, can you say that after me? He who has ears to hear, let him hear. They say it again. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. So, boys and girls, let us use our ears properly to listen, not just to hear many sounds, but to listen especially to the Word of God. Thank you very much. We'll see you again. Bye. So I'll ask Auntie Rhoda to just start the song for us. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam. Boys and girls, be a sunbeam for Jesus. Auntie Rhoda. All right. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam to shine for him each day. In every way try to please him At home, at school, at play A sunbeam, a sunbeam Jesus wants me for a sunbeam A sunbeam, a sunbeam I'll be a sunbeam for him Oh, boys and girls, I stumbled there. Mm -hmm. Can we sing it one more time? <laughs> ah, it's a new song for me, mm -hmm. a nice song, because we want to be a sunbeam for Jesus. Okay, once again. Okay. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam to shine for him each day. In every way try to please him At home, at school, at play A sunbeam, a sunbeam Jesus wants me for a sunbeam A sunbeam, a sunbeam I'll be a sunbeam for him Be a sunbeam Bye. Tinchimuira, Kopambana, Tikumusa, Utae, Kuma Buenzi, Latu Yesu, Atikonda, Konda Fe, Tipunzi. Yeah.